Hey guys, what's up? Today I have an OU match. This one is against a uh, guy I haven't battled in ages, and that's 355JT. Uh, looking at his team, he's got two fighting Pokemon and two water Pokemon, and Slowbro can wall all of that, even Gliscor, pretty well. Uh, his biggest worry then is his Salamence, because, uh, yeah, they're dangerous, but unless I lock myself into close combat on my uh, Scarf Star Raptor, which I don't plan on doing because he has three flying types. Um, everything else can handle him, at least, you know, as long as he doesn't get set up and then I can just send in my Latios, be faster than him and kill him. Like, I mean, even my Heatran, I can roar him out if he does set up and if he kills me, then I just go to my Latios and kill him. Uh, everything else, you know, can either hit it with a nice attack or, you know, do something to stop it. So he's going to lead with his Machamp. He's obviously going to want to switch out. Uh, here, I, uh, I had my Choice Band Star Raptor queued up on my team and I figured I'd give it a Scarf because it's like, I needed a Scarfer, and if it was Bandit, I would have stayed in here and just hit him again. Even through the Protect, it still would have killed him. But, um, meh, I know he's going to Protect anyway, so I'm going to switch it to my Latios. And I am going to go ahead and go for the Surf. I figured he might Protect, and I am actually Expert Belt, so I could go for the Draco Meteor here technically. But considering he already has a Physically Defensive Ground type in his uh, Gliscor, I'm thinking this is probably going to be Specially Defensive, and that Draco Meteor is only going to do about half. Ruin my surprise of being Expert Belt. He'll just recover. I won't be able to kill him with the second Draco Meteor, and there'll be no point to that. So, I figure, let's save the surprise for later for when his Gastron's around half health, and I can just take it out with the Draco Meteor and be like, oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was Expert Belt. Um, and I'm just going to switch to my Heatran. He's going to predict that and go for the Scald, uh, instead of the Ice Beam. Obviously, I guess just wanted to get residual damage. Um, but I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks on the Switch, because I figure, yeah, Scald can do a bunch, but I don't know. I mean, he could have stayed in. And hit me with another Scald or an Earth Power. But um, I guess he just really wanted to switch out. I don't know. Maybe predicting a switch too. Uh, so he's going to Dragon Tail me from my uh, Heatran as I go for the Roar. Which is why he's faster, obviously. Um, which is great news because that means he's not offensive. And better news that he blew me right into Latio. So I'm going to go for the uh, Drago Meteor. And he's going to switch to his Gastron, and there you see that that Draco Meteor is a little bit more than half. With Leftovers, it's basically half. So even if I were to, you know, hit him with another Draco Meteor here, it wouldn't kill. He's just going to recover, as he is going to do now anyways. And, like I said, it just, there'd really be no point to it. So I'm going to go to Shaman, confident that he will recover. And I can threaten him out with that stab four times effective Seed Flare. And, uh, yeah, it's going to do its job. He's going to go to his Salamence to quad resist it. But I'm going to actually go for the Leech Seed instead, knowing that he's going to be scared on Even if he isn't, I don't really see an Ice Beam doing anywhere near half to me uh, with that low special attack and non-stab. So, yeah, he goes to Salamence. Um, I know I'm faster because he showed me Dragon Tail, so unless he's some weird... Jolly Max Speed Fat Mint set or whatever. That wouldn't make sense. I'm going to go for the HP Ice here. He is going to switch to his Gyarados. And that's still going to do quite a lot of damage. So, um, yeah. And then uh, I figure because that, you know, 70 base power move did that much. Obviously an 80 base power move in Seed Flare is going to hit him. Fortunately, he scarfed. And uh, hits me with an Ice Fang. If I did miss his Seed Flare, I could have just went to my Heatran, would have quad resisted the Ice Fang, he's locked in. I could have roared when he switched out, and it would have been nice, actually. So, you know, but it hits, and uh, I usually take him on. He's going to go to Salamence here. Uh, he said he wasn't paying attention when I used my Hidden Power, so he didn't realize that I had used it when he switched out. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to hit him with a Hidden Power Ice, and he's going to be dead. But, um... Yeah, so it meant, you know, because it's defensive, it wasn't really going to be a big threat to my team with Latios hanging around, and even Star Raptor uh, could probably kill him as long as he doesn't get intimidated. Uh, or even with the Intimidate, maybe. Eh, I don't know. He's going to go to his Trachyon. I'm going to switch to my Heatran, half expecting the X-Scissor, half expecting him to just die as Death Fodder, because, you know, he already got rocks up, and I don't really need to be roaring around too much. Both of his, uh, you know... Flyers that are weak to rock, this was a flyer, but it's not really weak to rock, it's neutral, um, are dead, so I really don't need to be shuffling around too much. So, eh, I go to my slow row here, and um, yeah, I'm just going to scare him out, but I'm going to switch out, because I know he's going to go to his Gastrodon here, and uh, pull a double switch to Shaman, just to uh, threaten him once again with that stab, four times effective Seed Flare, and he's going to be scared. This time, I'm not going to lead Seed, because... 
he doesn't have a Salamence left to uh, quad resist. So I am just going to go and hit this Machamp on the switch with a Seed Flare to the face. And that is going to do about 60-70%. Uh, here, however, I'm afraid of the bullet punch, so I'm going to obviously switch up to my Slowbro, and I'm going to troll him a little bit with my favorite item on Slowbro, which is a Rocky Helmet. I really like this set because basically you're going to switch in on a physical attack, take a hit, maybe go for like a status or a scald or something as I switch, or switch out immediately. So it's like you're going to heal up, so you really don't need leftovers. Plus you have slack off anyways. So... um it really works. I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam as he goes for the Payback. He's still faster than me, which is great because, you know, Stormbro is just so devastatingly slow. Uh, in fact, he's going to go for the X-Scissor here, and uh, I'm just going to go for the Stock Off just to see if he's either Choice Banded or Choice Scarfed. And uh, that Rocky Helmet's going to be doing nice work because he can barely 4-hit KO me. And uh, I'm going to slack off and gain back a ton of HP. Here I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave just to slow him down even more. Uh, as if he was even planning on killing me, unless, uh, I mean, he could get a crit here. Um, but I'm just going to go with the slack off, and that's going to eliminate any possibility. But, unfortunately, he's actually faster than me, but he's going to get fully paralyzed. So, you know, he could have hit me, but it wouldn't have killed me unless, again, he got a crit. Um, but yeah, so now I'm, like, at full health. I figure I could slack off, stall him, but there's really no point. I just... Gonna go ahead and throw Scald in his face uh, to finish off the damage, finish off the job that uh, that Rocky Helmet damage has been doing, and uh, that's gonna easily take him out. I could have also went for the Scald in the first place instead of Thunder Waving him, but eh, I figured it, it would be better, and it did work out better. Now he's gonna send his Gastrodon. I figure just gonna see what he has to hit me, um, because I know a lot of OU Gastrodons don't like to carry Toxic necessarily. So, uh, yeah, just going to throw an Ice Beam. It's not really going to do any damage, mostly just negating his leftovers, but whatever. Uh, he shows me Earth Power. So here I'm thinking uh, I should switch up to my Star Raptor, because Earth Power will do nothing. He could have went for the Ice Beam, but uh, here you're going to see that he doesn't actually have it, which is why he didn't go for it on my Latios before when I switched out to my Heatran in the first place. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to throw a Bray Bird in his face. And guess what happens? He's gonna live at like two or three. I don't remember what HP. I don't think. I don't, I'm not sure if he even told me, but you know, very little. And he's going to hit me with a scald, and I'm going to die, unfortunately. Uh, but eh, not a not a big deal. I'm gonna go up to my Latios. Poor planning on my part because I have Surf Thunderbolt and uh, HP Fire. I'm not sure if it will really kill. I mean, I am Expert Belt, and he is you know specially defensive, and he does resist it. So I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Let's just go for Draco Meteor. Yeah, he's got a Gliscor left. I actually wasn't really aware that this was his last Pokemon. Um, but I figure he's going to protect anyway, so might as well switch out and go to my Slowbro. If he does Swords Dance and then hit with an Earthquake, I can still take that. Because Slowbro is just that beastly. Um, but yeah, he's going to protect. It's going to fail. Uh, instead of protecting again, he's just going to go ahead and go for the Facade, which does less than Earthquake and causes contact, therefore Rocky Helmet damage, so I don't really know why he didn't just go for Earthquake. But uh, I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. Either way, that's going to kill him, because Quad Weak and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the battle, so I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a pretty fun match. Uh, like I said, I haven't battled this guy in ages. And uh, I also haven't done OU in a pretty long time, so I figure, you know, bring Star Raptor and Shaman and Slowbro. They, they work well in OU, just, uh, you know, for those sort of uh, niches they like to fill, as in walling Terrakion. Like, even a Choice Banded Sto Adamant Stone Edge from a Terrakion barely can 2-it KO a Slowbro. Like, it's like 49% average, it's up to 52 max or something. So it's like, he could not even do it. Which is scary. Like, I mean, everyone's afraid of uh, Terrakion, but Slowbro walls it. So, uh, yeah, big HP stat. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. You guys have a nice day, and I'll see you tomorrow.